touch a little bit more on this particular subject matter of the 120 because the 120 is very significant but there's some ones and ones who say certain people you know that certain people are quoting and referring to Genesis 6 and 3 now we're not taking this as a personal it's not a personal matter if it was a personal matter we're not we would not take it personal because the doctrine is teaching of his majesty and for more than 400 plus years, I and I, the once lost, but now found Beta Israel, has suffered from misdirection, disorientation, um, wrong doctrine. And, and, and besides all that, make I and I reason. That's the word. Make I and I reason. So if, if, if it's I or if it's others that um, have putting out something that's not true or something we feel or think is not true, we have to be ready to engage it. So we're not we're not too sure whether it's our quoting of Genesis um, six and three, Genesis chapter six. But some say, okay, 120 years, and this is Lich Tefari, right? This is the man child. 120 years of um, Rastafari, Edomar with Halas Elasi, Earth strong, and they would say, well. And they saying, so what? You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, and then here's, where, here's where the wrong doctrine creeps in. And it could be because that so many of us have, um, how can you say, um, been um, religious eyes or been exposed to counterfeit and false religion that we forget what the hymenote is. You know what I'm saying? And the true foundation of the teachings of his imperial majesty, Kedamawi, Haile Selassie. But let's deal with a couple of points. First points first. So this is what we've picked up and from some of the reasoning that has gone on, what we've actually seen. We'll try to bring up the exact, um, um, you know, information that we're speaking on. I think it's a brother, one of my nine brothers, um, Omar, uh, Tobijah, someone we, you know, we support as far as his words sound that he put out there boldly you know, declaring the reality of his imperial majesty. But you remember, we have to keep studying and showing ourselves, I and ourselves approved. So, first points first. Um, some say that the quote of 120 years concerning his match, okay, well, what does that mean? Some say that maybe there's not that much significant. Some say, well, actually, the 120, I think this, this is where I and I started to meditate on it from first light. Um, the 120 um, does not refer to God. Well, of course it does not refer to God in the sense that he is without days, but it does refer to the manifestation of the triunity, in other words, as, as, as the Son of God, Yeshua HaMushiach, our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as he was sent, you understand, he also said that none bears witness to me except the Father, except Kedemar we Haile Selassie. For nearly 2,000 years, the only really faithful and true witness to Christ in the same fullness as Christ has been of Kedemar we Haile Selassie, have been of Haile Selassie the first. All right, now that's the reality that I and I as Rastafari we acknowledge and and it's factual it's true but what about this 120 years so let's get into some of this we're going to probably do this in a couple of parts you know with them because we, we we know that we only have a a short time on this particular clip that we have right here well let's ask the question concerning the 120 the 120 years right 
um, 120 years, right? 120 years regarding Lidge Tafari. And who is Lidge Tafari? Lidge Tafari is that man child, right? Now, that man child we have this in um, John, I think John Gospel chapter chapters chapter 16 as well as we have it in Revelation chapter 12 now those who have been studying this prophetic prophecy speaking about the present times that we're in also know even from the astrological or from the heavenly remember the heavenly is a calendar they can see those particular alignments some of the brothers um, as well as sisters have spoken on it here and there as well not to go into that basically just to qualify this, the man shall. We've also touched on the link concerning that when His Majesty, or when Lidz Teferi, he who is him, when he was when he was uh, baptized or christened, right, that everything became clear to him. You understand? Know in creation, that was the snatching up that we find in Revelation, where it says that that woman. Symbolically, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, which is symbolic of the Black Madonna, of Kedistin Gramaria, of the Ethiopian, you know, in the original Ethiopian, she would give birth, right, to this man child, as Kedistin Gramaria gave birth to Getach and Jesus Christos, you understand? Know so we have a testimony, a dual, a double fold testimony of the Father and Son. Which also connects, as we study the roots of this, we recognize that Moses was learned in the wisdoms of the Egypts, you know, saying, of Lower Egypt, as well as Upper Egypt, Tobia, or Ethiopia, you know, saying, and he was mighty in word and deed, you know, saying, in word and deed. Also, we notice that there's some ridicule of um, prayer and faith among certain ones and ones. Well, the Holy Spirit shows I and I that we have been wounded or we have been hurt by this counterfeit yokes and Christianity. So, for, of course, for some who have been traumatized even, if we're speaking of certain things that sound to be the same thing, um, instead of one studying and showing themselves approved, they make a, you could say, a value judgment or they say that, well, that's the same thing and, and this is reality and religion or prayer or faith or we we read something or heard also some comment on um uh idea of going in your closet that going in your closet so forth and so what is the words of getai jesus christos and man said for my part i glory in the bible you understand and um faith is a foundation some say well that's a lot of talk there we got to do the work you know saying well your word says the work is to my men you understand that my men you know what I'm saying? My men means to have faith, exercise faith, um, to trust, um, to be a true and a faithful witness. You know, we could go into the word because this is our pure language. But many of us are still stuck in English and in the English translation, and, and we're limited to that. So we are putting certain value judgments on things that are much deeper in their roots and their orientation than this Western disorientation we are subject to. But that's another point right there. So the 120 years, does the 120 years really matter? Some say, okay, 120 years, Rastafari, Lich Tafari, all right, the 120th year of His Majesty's Earth Strong or birthday, as one would say. Does it really matter? Does this really matter? Well, of course it does. Some say, well, Genesis, there's folks that will quote Genesis uh, 6 and 3. And let's get our Bibles, brothers and sisters, in time that we have right here. Genesis 6 and 3. You see, um, the faith-based foundation has to be built first, or should be built first. And then we should build up secular knowledge. Unfortunately, many folks have secular knowledge as their foundation. And then they try to put... Um, biblical or spiritual or so-called religious instruction on top of that. And this is where they find a lot of their promise, why it says you must be born again. You know what I'm saying? You must be born again. And being born again means to have a change of mind. It doesn't mean that you forget everything, you know what I'm saying, that you already know or that you already experienced. But it's a certain consciousness focus. Now, why is that important? 
it's important because I and I, you understand, know after Jah and after the Moshiach is all I and I have. So in order for I and I to overcome these mixed up moods and attitudes and to become really progressive, you understand, know we have to overcome these these psychic wounds, these errors, these misdirections that we have received previously. But but each of us have to take that um choice and responsibility to heart, you know what I'm saying, because it's not about forcing anyone, it is about the free will that we have, so with that free will, we must willingly come to that point, and that's what makes it interesting, some say, well, if God is God, he can snap his finger, but that's not how Jah works, but let's deal with this right here, so some say that there's a lot of folks quoting Genesis chapter 6 and 3, so let's deal with Genesis chapter 6 and 3 for a moment, so we know this comes from Genesis or this can be referred to Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. Some say that this, this doesn't have anything to do with God. You understand? Even though it's quite clear that it says, And Ixiyavi Herlotu Sabhat said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. He says, His spirit, right? For that he also is flesh, yet his day shall be an hundred and twenty years. Some say this had only to do with the flood. Right? Some say this only had to do with the flood. It has nothing to do with man. Is that true? Is that correct? Or some even say, well, it, it, it had to do with people of that time that they will only live to be 120 years because the flood was coming on. So we hear a lot of different types of um, um, opinions, philosophies, uh, speculation, guesstimates about what it was all about. This is why His Majesty said that education is the key. You understand education is the key. Sometimes when one's critique or criticized, you know, or challenge I now on a certain point, it's good. Because perhaps I might have to say, my bad. Or, or ones have to say, hey, what you're saying is correct. You understand? It's to find the truth. I now have a love of the truth. You understand? So open rebuke, you understand, it's better than secret love. You understand? So feel no way. We don't know if the brethren was pointing to us or to others or to the general idea saying, well, 120 years of His Majesty, so what? You know what I'm saying? We have to be more practical, or we, you know, there's practical things to do on the ground, you know, the basic work, and true, there is. But what is it that prevents us from working together? It's mixed up moods and attitudes, and it's not being properly um, founded or grounded on that true foundation according to the teachings of I and I namesake. You know what I'm saying? According to the teachings of His Majesty. So, in this point right here, they say, well, it doesn't have anything to do with God. Well, it does have to do with Jah. It does have to do with Jah's manifestation. You know what I'm saying? It does have to do with Jah. Now, how do we prove that it has to do with God and man? Well, first of all, we have to recognize the Trinity. You understand? Know first, we have to recognize what do we mean by the Trinity. In other words, what is the Lion of Judah Trinity, or what is the Trinity of God and Christ, or the Shalase, the Shalase? What is it all about? You understand? Know what, what is it all about according to the teaching of His Master, according to the Scripture, according to the Word? So does the 120 years have anything to do with, with um, God? Well, of course it does. He says, My Spirit shall not always strive. Now, what does strive mean? Let's go to Bamarinya. Let's go to the Metaf Kedus of Nagusa Nagas. Let's go to the Book of the Seven Seals. Yovazan, the Book of the Seven Seals of His Imperial Majesty. And let's turn to Orit, the Orit Zesitret, um, Mitraf Sedis, Chapter 6, uh, Kutir um, Shos, or Sos, if you please. But some ah will will manifest a kedus a haru amlak and then milo and it reads egziavi herin menfase besolai lezalalem ainorim arusu shegar na wimna zemenochu meto haya amet yehonalu ale. So it says that his age zemenochu meto haya amet. Yehonalu, right? But here's the interesting thing. The word strive, I think, confuses people. They read this verse and it says, My spirit should not always strive with man. And they interpret that that strive with man means a contention, 
right? In fact, a lot of us thought so too before we learned our fidels and learned how to read and started to study and show our nine selves approved. Then we saw what is truly approvable with God. Not our own way of looking at it, but we started to see things His way. We started to get the, the right information. You know what I'm saying? Get informed, get involved. The problem is too many people are involved and they're not up to the level of gnosis or information. So that's, that causes a lack of, you know what I'm saying? It causes lack because they're not recognizing that that He is our shepherd, our guide. And He shepherds us and guides us by this word. And see, He's given us really, really what we have to do initially is, is the easy part. It, it's really the easy part. People are looking at the situations, at the, at the seeming realities around them, the, the physical, the material world. And if you study the metaphysical level of the scripture, which is really the spiritual level, you know what I'm saying? Well, we need the basics. See, as his master said, that religion was intended to be a guidance. He never refused the hymenotes. What he said is that corruption came in through certain types of orthodoxy, certain type of priesthoods, certain type of manipulation, such as occurred in ancient Egypt as well. You understand? But that is another story. But here's the key word about strive. What does strive mean according to the Metaf Kedus of Nagusa Neges, according to Abatachin's Turgum? It says, Egezi Abiharim, Egezi Abherim. And the sustainer, the father of the firstborn chosen nation of the light, he said, Memphis say, my spirit, my Memphis, his spirit, best so lie, best so lie upon man, upon man, lezelalem, ainorim, will not dwell or will not live, ainorim, you know what I'm saying? Would not dwell in the sense of abide upon man forever. It says, Arasu, he, Shiga Nawina, he, flesh, for he is, or he is flesh. In other words, he has a carbon organic structure. Now, who is this he he's speaking about? Some would say, well, it's basically speaking about the people of that time because. It was the days of Noah. But didn't Yeshua HaMoshiach said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in these times of the end, Yosin, or in the end of the age? Now, here's what's interesting. Everyone knows about the whole 2012 thing, right? 2012. Now, we had noticed some in interesting information, and we tried to put it in a vid a little bit earlier. So the word strive, make this, put this down as a note. The word strive does not mean in a sense that people would interpret it to contend against, to fight against. He says, his spirit will not always dwell, forever dwell upon man. In a sense, it uses the same sort of language that it does in the beginning, where it says that the spirit of God, you understand, was upon the waters and, and upon the deep, upon the face of the deep. It's using the same sort of idea. But it says that his spirit would not always strive with man or dwell with man. You know what I'm saying? It's interesting that we come to the one twentieth year of his imperial majesty, right? Of the revelation of his imperial majesty. When do we come to this? We come to this in twenty twelve. Now you probably already know that, that everybody's talking about Zion twenty twelve with the Olympics and if you look at the at these these, these um the Arabic um numbers and if you move it around like the Z and the N so forth and so on, and you flip this around, basically it, it spells Zion, right? But here's the key thing, that this right here would, would equate with the 120th year of Lichtefari, who we know as the man-child, in the revelation of God in Christ, in Kedamawi, Haila Selassie. All right, we're going to use that particular, some say acronym, you understand? Um... Um, actually, here we go, Kedamawi. We think of Kedus, but it's Ke, Ke, Ke. Some, some use K, but it really be more correctly Q. You understand? It's the Q factor that is very, very important, right? And, and when we study even this, this, this name, this Shem, the Hashem, this is the Hashem. So it says that, he says that my spirit, the spirit of who? Of God. 
God's own spirit. Now notice when we read Revelation chapter 12, it says that man shall, right, that man shall was snatched up to, was snatched up to God and to his throne. To God and to his throne. So what we contend, our contention is that if this man shall, you understand that the spirit of God, the Father himself, chose to abide in, chose to move in, chose to operate in, you understand, in order to cut these days and times short, according to the biblical prophecy and according to the word. This is why Yeshua HaMoshiach would say that as it was, as it was in the days of Noch, now even Noch is very important. If we would study our language, you understand, and as we study our language, we'll recognize that the name Noch links with the Ankh, you know what I'm saying? And links with the idea of, of, of abiding or dwelling in the sense of a long time. Like they say, long life. The idea of Ankh, you know what I'm saying, was the, the idea of long life. Now, was the 120 referring to how old Noah was? Well, it is said that Noah roughly was, some, some say 350, others say 480, but it's definite that Noah was not, it does not refer to how old Noah would be, but there's a key in, in, in Noah, because we find from the Kibber and the Ges, and this is where we find it to be interesting, looking up these resources in our own resources. If you look on, in chapter 100 of this particular document here, when you get a chance, if you have the Queen of Sheba and only some Minulik, the Wallace Buds translation, which comparing the Gutters is probably the best translation available from the better text. There's other texts out there, but um, by comparison, this is the better text, and it's the better translation. In fact, it's as good as, if not better, than the King James overall in structure, so forth and so on. That's coming from an academic, you know, um, linguistic perspective. But if you look in chapter 100 of this, you will see that Noah, Noah, the preacher of righteousness, he preached for 120 years. Now, how interesting that Noah, right, that Noah would preach for 120 years. So we have the, quote, the days, right, the days of Noah, right, the days of Noah. Now, with the idea of Noah, I want you to keep in, in mind the idea of the ark. Etymologically, not, 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 not to get all caught up in some of the different... You remember in ancient Egypt, they had their own different denominations, like Christianity has its own different denominations. It so happened that the denomination that was ruling, you know, and created similar to whitewashed Caesar Bulgarian Christianity, it created a bondage, you know, in which Moses delivered the Beta Israel, the Hebrews, you know, and the Hebrews, being a Hebrew, was... Like when we say being a Rastafari today, it was like being a Hebrew in those days and time, meaning that they crossed over from ignorance to knowledge, you know, and from so-called understanding or no standing to overstanding and to full standing. So within chapter 100 of the Queen of Sheba and only some